Okay, that tells us it's all about the devil and the details um, here. Brexit means something different, depending on who you're talking to. Depending if you're an EU national living in the UK and vice versa. Has Theresa May's plan, has it taken into consideration the situation of, of these people, of EU nationals and also of British nationals abroad? The situation of EU citizens in the UK and British nationals abroad should have been taken into account before the referendum, and our organisation campaigned for that. Mm -hmm. They should have been given the vote in the referendum. They weren't. They should have been given guarantees before the referendum that whatever the outcome of the referendum, their status, their rights would not change. Mm -hmm. In fact, what has happened is that uh, uh, there's been a big question mark over what would happen to the livelihoods and the lives and the rights of EU citizens in the, in the UK after the referendum, which has created a huge wave of uncertainty and anxiety Many people have left. Many people are suffering emotional and psychological distress. Mm -hmm. And instead of settling the matter, which is what we called immediately, and saying we will stabilise your status and your, your, and your rights, which we have been calling for unilaterally, all of that whole question was taken into the Brexit negotiations. Mm -hmm. And so three million EU citizens in the UK became bargaining chips yeah. in an, uh, by, by negotiating collateral negotiations, which is disgraceful. Uh, I, now, finally, Theresa May has said that whatever the outcome of the negotiations, EU citizens will have the right to stay. And it's not just a question of the right to stay. We need their status and all of their rights mm -hmm. guaranteed, something that we have been calling for from before the referendum. And the, green, the, the green card. I mean, is that the answer in, in a post-Brexit world? What we, have, uh, what we are calling for, and we have uh, a lot of support in the European Parliament, yes, is indeed for our green card for Europe. Because we're saying with this green card, what you can do is ring fence the status and the rights of EU citizens in the UK and mm -hmm. British citizens in the EU. You treat the British citizens in the EU and the EU citizens in the UK as one group of people. You don't play games, you don't bargain their trade as off their Brexit rights. As if Brexit had never happened, right? And you, for those people, it should be as if Brexit has never happened. It will never be as if Brexit never happened because the climate has changed and the mm -hmm. trust is not there and the, and the environment is different. But in terms of their status and their rights, they need to have the same special status that they have now by virtue of the fact that they are EU citizens living in another EU member state. Mm -hmm. And they need, this, they need a physical proof of that because when they are in situations, for example, with a landlord or with an employer, the employer or the landlord might say, well, what's your status here? Right. And they will say, well, I've got this thing called settled status that the British government has given me. The, the ordinary member of the public is not going to know what that is. Mm -hmm. If they can pull a green card out of their pocket that is backed up by the EU, then it will stop that type of casual day-to-day -day discrimination and give people confidence that their lives can return to normal. And we, that's why it's so important. We've got about 30 seconds. I want to ask you, what's going to happen on December 11th in Parliament? Parliament will vote down the deal, in my view, and then it's up to Parliament what happens next. And there will either be a general election or there will be another referendum or there will be both. And I suspect it will be the general election before the referendum. But I personally don't believe that Britain will actually leave. It's still a minority view. Yeah. Uh, but so I you, would encourage... you do not need those green cards after all? You, you, you need them because people are suffering from anxiety and uncertainty now. Okay. And we have to put that to bed so that people know that something is coming Whatever happens in, the, in December, whatever happens in March, they need an answer now, and that's why we need that commitment now. Roger Casale, former British Labour MP and founder and CEO of New Europeans. Mr. Casale, we appreciate you taking the time to be on the show. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.